Well, we're picking up another one, guys. This one just popped up on Marketplace two hours away from the house. <coughs> motor, motor on the ground. <coughs> Man, I'm sick. What is it, Ellie? <laughs> well, we've made it to Murfreesboro. We're gonna stop at the cookout. This thing was a pain in the butt to get on the trailer. I think the motor's done. She's done. Got speed holes in her. So car's pretty solid though. One little hole right there. Well, I did it again. Oops. <laughs> Pick that thing up, 500 bucks. Can't beat it, fellas. Marketplace fine. Me and little man went to, uh, where did we go? I don't know, I forgot where we went now. Went all that far away. Pretty good drive, but it wasn't too bad. She wanting to play. She's a little crusty. This is gonna be our budget build. I wind up selling that one. I paid too much for that car when I originally bought it. I don't like paying that. I don't like paying a whole lot of money for these cars because if you, if you got a whole lot of money in it in the beginning, it takes away from your profits, and you got to replace everything anyway. So, pick this thing up for five hundred bucks. As you can see, the quarters are shot, tail light panel shot, fenders and doors are shot. But it's the same way with that car there. Fenders, doors, tail, it's all shot. Now we can dig around on the inside of this thing and see what we got. I couldn't get the doors open before when it was on the trailer. I didn't really spend any time digging around in it when I was at the guy's house. Oh, red wasper. Sound like a little girl. I don't like waspers, fellas. So we got a stone guard right there. We got the... Uh, we got a brace for our hood latch. Looks like there's a water pump, side marker light trim, headlights, some kind of speaker. The dash ain't right out. That's a good thing. Instrument cluster looks good. This car is so much better than that piece of junk. And I ain't got nothing. This car is basically free at this point. These waspers are going to get me, boys. Hey, there's a carburetor. A four-barrel carburetor. Come on, Mr. Wasper, leave me alone. I ain't hurting nothing, Wasper. He's trying to get me. I ain't bothering you. Whew. I'm gonna have to kill you if you keep flying around me now. I don't wanna kill you. I don't like killing nothing. We got a real good start on our next budget build. We are into this car now for zero dollars. This is free, sitting here for free. Profit I made off of that car for selling it. Paid for this one. This guy hasn't picked this car up yet because he's wanting me to convert it into a fastback for him. Imagine that. So, do you see anything wrong here, Ted? No. We got no way to do it! <laughs> I had to. I couldn't help myself. But, so the next step, for me, I like doing the drivetrains and then doing everything around the drivetrain. So the next step would, of course, be throw a budget 
budget build engine together. And when I say budget, I really do mean budget. <laughs> we got a budget 5.0. We got some old budget E heads. Is that my girl? Or T heads. Whatever you want to call them. Either way, they're junk. <laughs> hey, I might even have some 351 Windsor heads we could throw on it. <laughs> All right, man, little man, we're going to see if we can take all of this junk and build an engine out of this one. The crank's no good. I got a crank kit to go in it. These pistons are no good. I got some aftermarket pistons. We will be taking those pistons off those rods and putting new pistons on them. I'm going to do that myself. I don't do it with a machine shop. Well, Wesley's in the process of hot tanking. <laughs> This is how we hot tank small block Fords out here. Easy off oven cleaner. Go to that other can, it's gonna spray better. Let me shake this thing so. Shake it up a little bit. You can't hold it upside down, it won't work upside down. Where'd you get a mountain holler at or a mountain lightning at? Oh man. Can't make thirsty now. This stuff right here works good. But you gotta get the heavy duty, the actual easy off brand. You can't get that knockoff brand. It will take paint off and it will soften up your fingernails. You do not want to get on your fingernails and you want to do it outside in the open outdoors. You'd have really good ventilation. You get it on your fingernails, then your fingernails get oily. It will soften up your fingernails and turn them brown. We do not want that. We don't want to walk around looking like a crackhead. <laughs> but I don't want to look like no crackhead. What is it, Ellie? Well, I got Wesley over there. He's going to, this is the third round. She's just as clean as a daggum machine shop could do it. Looks good. At a bare minimum, this thing really needs to be bored. Like 30 over, but <laughs> it ain't gonna get it. <laughs> Two hours later. We ain't going much with it. We just we are just knocking down lays off the cylinders. That cylinder down there's got a watermark in it, as you can see. Don't hurt my feelings, but he's learning. About being one of these well, all my engine stands are currently tied up holding up other engines. <clears throat> so we're currently in my basement on what used to be our kitchen table. <laughs> it's just packed full of just stuff we don't use no more. I need to clean it up. But our engine came out pretty clean. All that down the bottom, that's just, that's just WD-40. I got all the oil off, that's not oil, that's paint. It's all clean. Everywhere needs to be clean, it's real clean. That's just WD-40. That's not, that's not oil or nothing, that's just WD. There's a hair. Get off her. My wife's gonna kill me. It smells like gas in here. It's not good. This is the basement. Upstairs is up there. <laughs> But, ended up going to O'Reilly's and getting a crank kit. Just luckily, they still were able to get me a crank kit. So, crank kit, which is the crankshaft bearings, or crankshaft main bearings and rod bearings, ended up being $227.82 out the door. I'll get $20 of that back. I'll take them to the core. 
But they actually, whoever done this, let's see, what company is it? Crankshaft Shaft Rebuilders Amp Incorporated. Precision Reground Crankshaft Kit. That's the part number. We got 30 on the mains and 20 on the rods. It's a little bit much on the mains, but I mean, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. I was a little bit worried about it, but they do put the good King Barons in the box, so. But I tighten her down. She spins, boys. I mean, it spins good. That's awesome. too easy okay so there's all the old rods off the old pistons and I marked each rod <clears throat> which way faces frontwards no uh, you know the pistons always say either have an arrow or a dot or a word that says front so I mark them everywhere there's marker should be an arrow on this side so we got the torch on the rod she's turning purple pans in the freezer we're fixing to do this thing all right so we just took our pan out of the freezer she's nice and cold my rod is blue and then my kid is out there screaming bloody murder got her mark we got her arrow come on now mr pan go in there that's your home now There it is. That's in the middle. That's in the middle. She's locked down, boys. That's all there is to it. As you can see, she's in the middle. Good to go. One down, seven to go. There's the pistons off them old rods. Reason why I changed out the pistons, I know it's sterile standard block, but the red, my dad says, I don't know why you put new pistons in a junk wore out block. Well, not necessarily junk wore out. Reason why I did that is because I broke this motor. This engine had something laying down in the bottom of it. When I turned, when I was spinning it over, it got against something and it cracked it. I did that. So, if you've got one broke piston, might as well replace them all, right? So I replaced all the pistons. So, uh, showed that in the video. I got them over here. They're ready to go back in the engine. The rods, the pistons. I don't got my sleeve. Where I can drop them down in the cylinders. Uh, then went ahead and put my new rings on. These babies are ready to go in. I've cleaned everything up. Of course, the block, the engine is in my basement. Uh, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the short block together, and I don't want to get no heavier than that. And then I'll wheel it out and we'll bring it down here. But where I'm at right now, I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna clean this up with a pressure washer, sand what needs to be sand, get the rust off of it, throw it back together. We'll have us a budget build engine. Oh yeah, I got a budget. I'll show you my intake. I think I give 80 bucks for. I think it was 80 bucks. I got two of them. The reason why I say 80 because I bought two. Well, actually, I bought three. But Elderbrock Performer 289 intake, aluminum, and Elderbrock carburetor. Got two of them. I got that one too. They're basically the same, but one of them's got the water crossover on the back. So I'm going to use it on my budget build. Help keep the rear cylinders cool. But the third intake I bought from him, I ended up giving it to my cousin. We're going to make that car run and drive. 
run, drive, and stop, and then we'll fast back convert it, and we'll slap it into an Eleanor, and we'll paint it, and we'll let that baby go. <laughs> but, uh, I'm sorry I talked so much. I, I, I promise. The next video, we're going to be doing lots of working, um, lots of hands-on stuff. But please like, share, and subscribe, fellas. Till next time.